Good morning, everybody. We're going to make a, a very long cooked six hour pasta sauce today. This is one that was perfected by my good mate Michael Mont there at UTS Engineering Camp. I've added a couple of little things to it, but basically it's the same thing that Michael's been making for all these years. Merrill, if you could pan over here. Got, this is, as I said, a big sauce. You've got six large cans of tomatoes, three part jars of pasta sauce, garlic, capsicum, onions, shallots. Over here, our condiment salt and pepper, some herbs, some parsley, sweet paprika, and ground coriander. Half a bottle of red, extra virgin olive oil from Moro again, um, and I'm going to open all those cans. And this is my second saucepan. Um, well this, it's kicked up a bit. This is a very, very big sauce, as you can see, but most of that will be filled. A lot of prep here. Come back to you shortly. Okay, as you can see down here, Merrily, I've got the uh, onions done. I've got them very fine onion rings. They tend to dissolve in the sauce over such a good uh, long period of cooking. They're just delightful. Uh, shallots and capsicum and a bit of garlic. So I've got the sauce in the heat. Got our Moro extra virgin olive oil here. Now this is a lot of food, so you'll see that there's quite a significant amount of oil that go in here. Okay. You know, I'm almost, almost out of my garlic here, so this is the perfect amount. Monty, don't worry about it, mate. I just like less garlic than you, brother. Give that about two, put about two spoons worth of garlic in there. As always with garlic, don't let it cook long, straight in with the onions. Lovely. And our capsicum and shallots. Again, there are large quantities of these, but when you see how much tomato there is, uh, you'll understand why. So get those sautéed, okay? I'll come back to you when they've sautéed right up and all that the tomatoes. Okay, just want to show you what we've got here. Six cans of tomatoes, three pasta sauce, all done. The rest is hurting a bit after opening all them. All ready to go. I've sauteed off the uh, onion, capsicum and shallots, okay? I'm going to add this off the heat. Uh, the tomatoes have a tendency to spray out a bit, so I'm going to do that off the heat. We won't bore you with putting them all in. I'll show you one putting in of the can, and then we'll come back when it's all done. So, one can in, nice and low. We'll come back to you when that's all done. Okay, all the tomato and the pasta sauce is now in here. Now to add the condiments and the flavourings and then get it straight back on the stove. So, just a couple of mixed herbs. Sorry. I am trying, Davey Phillips, to get it so everybody can see. I just forget sometimes, mate. I'm a bit of an amateur. Parsley. Fair bit of that, actually. All right. Don't hold back with the pepper here. Some lovely uh, sea salt crystals from my sister. Note Susan, I've uh, merrily put it into the correct container there. Okay, salt. Now, over to the paprika. Okay, this is a touch from my, my mate there, Lady Heather. When we start adding this, it really adds to the flavour. Fair bit, as you can see, there's a lot of food here. Okay, paprika done. Over to the ground coriander. Now, this, you never need a lot of this because it's pretty strong, but I'll just give it a decent old whack in here. Okay, good. Over to the red, probably about half a bottle of red. How much we've got left there? Yeah, a touch more. Okay, you want to follow me over the stove there, Merrily, please? Okay, over here. So, the, one of the most important things of this is you've got to be very thorough and rinse it all through. So, I'm, that's going to take a while for me to get that all through. I'll come back to you in a moment, okay? Okay, you can see I've got that stirred through, all the veggies are starting to come up nicely. Okay, the idea, this will take a while to bring up to the boil, so get it to the boil, and this is going to simmer for six hours. I know that's a long time, but the amount that this changes and richens in six hours is just amazing. So, again, we'll just keep at that, keep at it, keep at it. I'll bring it to the boil. We'll come back every so often just to show you an update on maybe every hour, hour and a half. So, six hours of simmer for this amount of food. Okay, everyone, this is now boiling away. That's been cooking now for roughly 50 minutes. It's taken to get that up to bubbling. Okay, so that's, that's in the first hour. It hasn't taken too much, just a little bit. And so where it started up in here. Okay, I'm now going to turn that down to simmer. Merrily, if you come down to here. And that's now going to simmer for the next five hours on low. Okay, so I've got that to bubble, and that'll thicken up nicely. We'll come back to you throughout the day. Okay, I've taken this off the heat so you can see better in the light here. Have a look at that. That's six hours in. Where the spoon is here is about where that started. So it's dropped by about two inches. I just want to show you how thick that is and how beautiful it is. Smells, smells all right, don't it, darling? Yeah, it smells lovely. The whole house smells like it. Okay, that's six hours in, everybody. You can see how much that's thickened. It'll be a bit, I'll just leave that a bit more and uh, I'll probably leave it on the heat for the rest of the afternoon until it's eaten. So there you are. There's our pasta sauce for six hours. Absolutely beautiful food. I might add, today's Good Friday, 
This is a vegetarian sauce. So people that don't want to eat red meat and so forth, this is a, a dish for them. That's our vegetarian Neapolitan sauce. Cook for six hours.